My name is Linda Gallion. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I am making chicken creamy pesto paninis. So what we do is we start off with our ciabatta bread. And all I did was slice, slice them in half. So, and then I thinly sliced them because we're going to be putting them in a panini uh, bread griller. So I'm just buttering these on the outside. Or you can spray them with all, um, olive oil spray, um, which I'm using a healthy um, omega, high in omegas threes butter. So, oops, on the outside, Linda. And we're just going to do each one of these very lightly so they get grilled. And this makes about four sandwiches. So. Um, it has a lot of fresh ingredients. You can use any bread. You don't have to use ciabatta bread. You can use um, a whole wheat bread of some kind. Would be fine to make it even more healthy. This aside real quick here. Get this out of the way. We're going to move on to doing our cream cheese, which has been softened. And then um, pesto. And this is only three tablespoons of pesto. And it's just store-bought, so this is going to be very easy. So, we're going to put three tablespoons of pesto. And then I have a sun dried tomato spread. And basically, all this is is pureed sun dried tomatoes that are in the jar. And they put a little bit of pesto in it. So, and basically, what I'm going to do is the same equal amount um, three tablespoons of this spread. So, and we mix this very well together. And um, this cream cheese makes it less acidic. Um, it's very cream and creamy and velvety. So and it melts into the, the chicken so well. So it's very yummy. You can do a lot of things with this actually. It's great over pasta, <laughs> just the spread. There we go. That's all mixed up. Okay, we'll set that aside. Look how easy that was. And we'll move on to our tomatoes. I, what I did here is just basically um, got some nice, cute little Roma tomatoes. Those are a little bit sweeter sometimes. And I'm just slicing them. I sliced it half, and then now I'm just slicing them up. Um, I only did uh, two kind of small ones, so because you don't need that much. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, a tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. What that does is, is make it really sweet when it grills up. And here we go again. I love pesto. There you go. And this is, once again, three tablespoons of pesto. So. And that's all you do with this. Isn't that wonderful? Great. Huh. And you can, um, on the paninis, you can put uh, spread mayonnaise if you want. So I don't normally. Um, it just cuts back on the calories. But you, that's an option. So I just want to leave that as open as an option. Before you do anything, you can spread on the paninis. So I like it a little bit less calorie. So. And you can use lower fat mayonnaise too. So, And I'm moving on to the chicken, which is... Super easy. Let me move some of this out of the way so you can see. So, and basically all we do is I have grilled chicken here, and you can um, buy this in the grocery store already grilled up, or you can do what I did is just basically um, grill up some chicken breasts. So, and it's two chicken breasts, um, plenty for four people in a sandwich. So I don't like a lot. And um, basically, this is pesto once again. And store-bought pesto is all I'm using, so I want this quick, and we're just going to mix that in. And that's two tablespoons of pesto, so I guess if you bought this in the store, um, uh, it would probably be about eight ounces of chicken, I'm not sure. Um, you don't have to have a lot because you have the tomatoes and everything else going on on this sandwich. And of course you have the yummy cream cheese spread. All right, now basically all you do is, it's kind of like a assembly line thing going. So I start off 
with spreading the yummy cream cheese on, which kind of holds everything in place. Let me get a nice knife here, make it easy on myself. Yeah, and I just spread it all in there. And I did it very generously, because basically you're gonna split this between four people. And you can use lower fat cream cheese if you like. So make it very healthy. I love pesto. And so do my girls. My kids love pesto too. Especially with the cream cheese in it. No. Where we go? Actually, I want to use it all up. I don't want I want everybody to get a nice creamy sandwich. So let's get this going. Pile this on. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? Yum. And it smells so good. I wish you guys could smell this and hear all this yummy garlic smell. Ooh, the balsamic vinegar. Ooh, making me drool. Okay, let's start off with the chicken. Doesn't really matter what order you, you do it in. I'm going to put you down here. I don't have any room. And I'm just going to do one side of the bread with the chicken. chicken used up. There we go. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? This guy over here looks a little naked. We don't want any naked spots. <laughs> Everybody wants a little bite of chicken in every bite. Our right, tomatoes. And basically I just kind of lay them down. And what I'm going to do is going to put a slice of cheese in the middle so it kind of glues everything together. So, yum. These look yummy. And it's just depending on the size of your tomatoes. You might use a, you know, an heirloom tomato, which you only need one probably for four sandwiches. So, and you could slice it thinner if you want, you don't like a lot of tomato. Or you can leave it off even. It tastes good without it too. Because you got the sun dried. But I think it just adds a little extra flavor. With it. I'm using a provolone, just sliced provolone from the deli. So, and actually I'm going to go this way. Get this guy and flip it. And it goes on this sandwich right here. Oops. And there we go. Look at this. We got one sandwich. I'm going to be putting these on the grill. We're ready to do grilling of the paninis. And actually I have a grill, a sandwich griller here, but if you don't have one, ooh, it's smoking. And if you don't have one, you can just grill on your using your pan. So, but I'm going to grill them with my nice old sandwich maker. And this guy is hot. Look at this guy, steaming hot. And we just place them in here. And it's hilarious because these are so tall. Look at how tall these are. We're gonna smash these guys down. But you can do the same thing with a spatula in a pan. That's how I started out, so I got one of these. And you can put grilled onions and uh, grill, uh, grilled bell peppers in this too. Would be great. I've done that. Even onion, uh, mushrooms would be great. And then basically, here we go, we're just going to slice it on the diagonal, serve it with a nice salad, glass of wine. You can have it for lunch, dinner. And look at that, the layers on the sandwich. Isn't that wonderful? And basically what I did here is a nice little tray up, as you can see. And it has the nice sandwiches so people can grab. And then I would just plate it up, it would be nice. And put a nice little flare. And actually a nice salad would look good in there too. But here I've got like a little buffet thing going here for people to grab sandwiches. Okay, it's time to eat. Yum, manja. Here's my chicken creamy pesto paninis. 